how you doing? Welcome to the channel, Brian the Divine Healer. Here's you, just throwing stuff around. <laughs> Anyways, how's it going? About to do your reading. That's right. Cancer Leos, you guys are up next, right? It's your day, Cancer Leos. So, I'll be doing well. Just brave some thunderstorms here. Clearing out. Looks like going to be a good day, right? Right. Okay. So, I'm going to shuffle these up here. We'll find out any messages. It's too easy. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done so already. Right, tell all your friends about my channel. Maybe even become a member, right? All right we'll do one more time using my Thelema deck. And we'll see what is up with y'all. Here's your first two cards. Page of Pentacles. Boom. What do you got here? Sneaking out. Judgment. Ooh. Nice. So you have the Judgment card, Major Arcana, with the very heavy, apparently, Page of Pentacles. So someone wants to bring you an offer or something, right? Maybe they even want to tell you something. Let's get into the story. Two wands. Interesting. Two wands. You're being guided with this decision. This is judgment. Judgment is like the divine, right? So he's out here calling judgment for you. What to say something, to do something, to give something. But don't forget these roles could be reversed. So it could be something you're dealing with or your energy. All right. Let's see. Let's get to your next card. Eight of Cups, yeah. What? Okay, so you're being guided to make a choice to walk away. Right, ooh, looks like you wanted to, looks like you wanted to give something or say something and the divine stepped in and said, I don't think so. You need to walk away from trying to make this decision. Wow, that's kind of very specific. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, it's just straight manipulating. So there's some underhandedness going on here with you trying to give something or say something to somebody, right? And the choice is uh, not yours to have, but you're being guided to make maybe the wise choice. And that wise choice is to walk away from this kind of manipulating energy. Someone's playing some tricks. Yeah, I have anxiety about it. This is stress, worry, anxiety, nine of swords. You're all tangled up. Wow, let's find out why. Why, why, why? Because you did something too hard, right? You did something uh, that was just too much. That was like all or nothing kind of attitude, right? And that's what's being called for, you know, for you to change your mind, right? Change your mind about making this decision to walk away from saying something, doing something, exposing something, something like that nature. What do we got? Ooh, we got a couple. Yeah. So you're gonna be tied up with that hangman and making this um, investment, okay? So, with the Five of Swords, says change your mind. Change your mind on what? Pausing on before you go ahead and make this investment. And what this investment is, is, is this. So, this is definitely the divine telling you to choose wisely because this decision that you're about to make might not be good. And it's going to leave you very disappointed. Four cups, disappointment, and despair a little, and having the worry and anxiety, sure. Makes sense. This is definitely a divine intervention, for sure, because you're being guided to walk away from doing this. 
there will be a change, a transformation in the situation when it comes to the devil being the one that is enticing you to be in this manipulative energy. And like I said, these roles could be reversed. The energies could be switched. So if it doesn't fit for you, then it's definitely for somebody else, okay? Bam. Okay, so when you decide to not do this, whatever that was going to be done, then you're going to feel a little sting. You're going to feel a little burn like you want to do it, but you're being guided to walk away from this decision about bringing, saying, doing something. And once you get to that point of feeling like, bah, this kind of sucks, but I'm just going to, you know, chill on it. I'm not going to do it. You're going to take the advice of spirit, God, the divine ancestors whoever is giving you this message it's going to tell you to chill because you're going to do that and that's going to transform yourself into now your emperor so now you're like raising your vibration right you're bossing up why because you are getting out of your head you're not um trying to fight against the divine with making the wise choice of not doing this and going with his decision to say i'm just going to leave it there and let it be and you instantly raise your vibrations, right? So it's like, kind of like if you had to say something about somebody to somebody, but you didn't want to like get all into that um, drama, you're at a point where it's like, you're gonna analyze to see if it's worth it or not. And if it is, then you would. And if it's not, then you are. So in this case, you'd think it is, but it's not. And so that's why the divine is stepping you down. Okay, so let's get into the uh, last cards of your story here and we'll wrap this up with the verdict. Yeah, three of pentacles. There you go. Four of pentacles, three and four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, back to the investment. Oh, there we go. So now this is kind of like... almost giving me the vibe of like you're going to drop the bomb on a friend or something and then you're like well I don't know I'm just going to do it and even if it's not in my place to do it I'm going to do it but the device I back up for some reason because there is an investment here and then once you kind of realize that yeah this sucks I should have but I'm not it returns you to this collaboration mode with the emperor now being the boss so it's kind of like you're being the bigger person, you're taking the higher road, you're definitely um, staying in high vibration and you're not playing the lower level games that most people play, you know what I mean? And this gives you like a really good um, sense of stability, right? I hope that made some sense. Just kind of rambled it off. Well, there's your two cards for the ending, my friends. There's your verdict. Queen of Swords and then the Ace of Cups. Magnifique. Yeah, so it's like you just shrug it off, brush it off your shoulders. It's not going to really affect you. And being the bigger person is where you're going to be at because that's going to instantly raise your vibrations because you're going to take the guidance of the divine to not have you do whatever this is. That's why that judgment's right there. So you're going to cut off that kind of idea, that mentality. You're going to hold on to the idea of, well, hey, you know, it's really none of my business, but... Um, I'm just going to let it be. And cutting that energy off gives you this sense of um, emotional fulfillment, right? The Ace of Cups, that's your own emotions, like, filling up. So, good job with raising your vibrations and being that bigger person. Listening to the Divine to tell you to walk away from some crap that just wasn't really worth it. But you could still be on this friend friendly kind of... Uh, exploring some kind of um, collaborations and you know, teamwork, right? And then this really gives you that sense of we're not going to be forever lovers, but we could be friends kind of deal. That's what I picked up at the end. So anyways, my friends, that was pretty heavy, pretty deep. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Check out my playlists. I got them all organized for you to binge at your own free will. Enjoy your weekend coming up. And uh, hey, be blessed, be brave, and be well. I'll see you again.